What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Black Walkthrough. Okay, so, yeah, it was an, it was an adventure in the last episode because we, we, we crossed about three things, and yeah, it wasn't a good end result or anything like that, but I don't care, I really don't care. Uh, in our last episode, we managed to find the final uh, sage from the Seven Sages. Uh, yeah, we were always unable to actually go to the Pokemon League. But that doesn't end our adventure right there. Now we are in Lacanosa Town. Now this place is not, there's not a lot that you can actually find right here. Uh, one big thing that you can actually find is talk to this lady right here. And she will actually explain to you about the Grisadia flowers. Since early times in Sinnoh, people have made a bouquet of, of Grisadia flowers. To give to someone uh, to show their feelings of appreciation. Now the Grisadia flower is actually a held item for Shaman. And we kind of don't have a Shaman on our team. But eventually, you know, once we do, in later episodes, you know, for Legendary Pokemon, I will show you how to get the Grisadia Flower. And then I believe the Grisadia Flower is actually the one where, like, you can actually, uh, you can actually, uh, switch out its form and everything. So, we're just going to be taking a small tour of this place and then crossing another route right here. I believe it's a Route 12, and let's see, talk to this person, this is Lankunosa Town, here everyone lives according to the rules from the moment they awaken to the time they go to sleep. That kind of sounds like North Korea right there. At night, a scary monster comes out of the big hole, so you have to go home and be good. And let's see, my Pokemon is always running off to go play on its own. But it's always, it always comes up back before dark, so I guess it's okay. Now, the monster, the quote-unquote monster, happens to be Kyurem from the Giant Chasm. Like I said in the last episode, we will be doing a separate episode on that. That way we can actually capture the Pokemon. In this game, it doesn't necessarily serve a good purpose. It doesn't have anything just except, you know, small lore about, of, 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 like, what it is. Now, let's see... My grandma loves old stories. I'm always having to listen to. I'm always having to listen to her really long stories. But sometimes, if it if it's night, she'll fall asleep right in the middle of the story. It's okay though. She's not only healthy. She's free spirited grandma too, which is good. Now, if you talk to this lady right here, she's asleep. What what what, what do you want now? Did you want to listen to a one of my stories? Yes. Hmm. Okay, I'll tell you. Behind our Lakanosa town, there is a big hole in the ground. That hole, way in the past. Ah, I'm so tired. That hole, there was a, uh, a big crash down. Uh, inside was big scary, uh, really scary, and she fell asleep. So now, if it's in the morning, you'll actually get the full story. But she's going to be talking to you about, you know, Kyogre, or not Kyogre, but she's going to be talking about Kiram. And that is a Pokemon that will be on the wish list eventually. Now, let's see, what else can you actually find around here? This place really, there really isn't nothing, nothing you can find. Like, you can see the giant chasm from here. And, well, let's go ahead and see what's up in here. You talk to this lady, there are a lot of people in the world, and there are just as many different uh, characteristics and ideas. I think I'd be really happy if I could meet a lot of people and see the differences by, for myself, which is true. Very, very true. And, uh, well, again, there really isn't a lot in this town. I mean, you'll just get the lore of, uh, of, of Kiram, and that's just about it. And, well, let's see, there's an item right there, which we can actually get. And, well, let's see, let's see. There's nothing right here. There's going to be somebody here eventually uh, when it's dark. Yeah, it's, well, it's dark. And there's really nobody outside right now because, again, they, they follow the rules right here. So once it's in the morning, then we'll, uh, you know, we'll take care of other businesses right here. So let's move on. Here we are in Route 12. Route 12, uh, let's see, lots of trainers. Actually, yeah, lots and lots of trainers. I'm gonna step right here. Uh, let's see. There's a there's a total of one, two, three, four, five, five trainers. Yeah, and a few good items. In this area right here, you can actually find some pretty cool Pokemon like Cherum, Combi, Dunsparce, Heracross, Kakuna, Metapod, Pinsir, Rapidash, Suncurrent, and Tranquil. Now, let's see. Other Pokemon you can find is Audino, uh, or Audino. 
Uh, let's see, Bee Drill, Butterfree, Emolga, Sunflora, Unpheasant, Vasp Queen, and then in the Dark Grass, Cherim, Combi, Dunsparce, Heracross, Kakuna, uh, Metapod, Pinsir, Rapidash, Suncurrent, and Tranquil. So these are some cool Pokemon you can actually find, but as many of you guys already know, I'm not here trying to, or I'm not here to, you know, not here to, uh, to impress people with, like, you know, capturing all these Pokemon. It won't be until like generation six where you know you're gonna start. You're really gonna start seeing me battle and uh, and capture all these Pokemon. That's actually what I'm doing right now for Pokemon uh, Ome Omega Ruby and, uh, and Omega Ruby and X. And here we are battling. Well, let's see, Bre Breeder Eustace. You know, Eustace Bag from uh, what you might call it, uh, Urge the Cowardly Dog. You guys remember that show? It's a pretty good show. Damn good show. So there we go, Waterfall. Taking that, Makuhita, and there we go, Makuhita, getting defeated real quickly. Look at that, and here she's coming out with, or here he's coming out with a Riolu, so I'm going to be switching it out right here with Hotshot, homeboy, fire type Pokemon, about to destroy some shit right here. Alrighty, let's go Riolu, what do you got? You got nothing, I'm pretty sure of it. So, let's go with a Fire Punch, and... Say goodbye. Oh, it's not a steel type yet. It's just a fighting type. Never mind. But I still win. Yeah, I still win. And here he comes out with a tight rope. So I'm going to stay put. This guy, well, a lot of these trainers have yet to evolve their Pokemon, which is kind of a bummer because, you know, it would be fun to actually battle these guys again. I don't know, probably. So let's go ahead and try this again. Let's do this. There we go. And Tyrope defeated. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Alrighty. And there goes Eustace. I don't think he gives us anything, right? Yes, he does. He gives us a berry, which is cool. Very, very good. And Route 3 leaves the Pokemon. Okay, so for the egg. And finally! Okay, so it has been a god dang while. Like, probably five episodes. And this egg is finally ready to hatch and stuff. If you guys don't remember, Route 1, this is where we got this Pokemon egg. And BAM! Look at that, we got ourselves a Larvesta. For those who don't know, Larvesta is the, uh... Well, it's the first stage of, uh, Volcarona, which we actually captured early on in our adventure right here. So, that's awesome. And look at that, we found ourselves a Revive. Now, there are three items that you can actually find here plus the what was it the berries that you can actually get from these trainers too but I'm trying to just like evade all the trainers I can I know I know guys but kind of want to get to the next town or the next uh, place right here so trying to evade that and here is another item and look at that we found ourselves a full heal which is always good and well Let's go right ahead and go into the next quote-unquote town, which is Village uh, Bridge. Now, let's see. Talk to this person. I'm sorry. I forgot my uniform. Probably not a good idea. My grandpa is going to catch a Pokemon for me. I will become a friend with my Pokemon, and someday we will travel to Unova together, which is good. It's difficult to decide which Pokemon is the best for my grandchild to meet first. For me, it's always Pikachu, but you know what? If I had my pick, I would probably pick Riolu. Yeah, that Pokemon's badass, and then when it evolves, <laughs> you know you are worthy of that Pokemon. So here we are in the Village Bridge. Yes, guys, a bridge is an actual village. And, well, let's see. There are two items right here and a, bun a bunch of trainers that you can actually battle. So we're going to make a quick skim of this whole place right here. We might, we might be battling a trainer here or there. So, let's see, this right here is the Village Bridge re Restaurant. Talk to this guy. Welcome! Thank, thank you for making the reservation for a battle! And, uh, yeah, I wasn't expecting, well, yeah, I should have saw. I should have seen that. So here we go, Baker Chris. Now, this Baker kind of looks like a woman, so I don't know, I don't know what the heck is going on right there. <laughs> Alrighty, let's go. Sigh of the Torrent. Let's get this. Let's go with the waterfall right here. Yeah, buddy. Waterfall for the win. Look at that. Simple. Very, very simple right there. 
And no, no more combi right there. Pretty cool. And let's see. Of course, everybody else is getting experience points. And here she's coming out with a nurse rank. So uh, you know what? I'm going to stay put right here with my uh, good old Sai of the Torrent. And let's go right ahead and use the revenge. We gotta get our revenge uh, right here, guys. I know revenge is not good for the heart, but you know what? Revenge is actually good to just defeat this Earth Ring. Don't you guys remember I had a uh, good old, uh, good old Teddy? You know, that Pokemon? Pokemon Crystal. Man, I miss my Pokemon for Pokemon Crystal. They were pretty cool. And here we go with the revenge and this guy going to sleep. So hopefully we can actually beat him right, right before anything. So God dang it. Okay, so come on. Yeah, you're falling asleep. Must be nice to get some rest, right? Right? I don't know. So here we go. Let's get this revenge attack. And come on. Stay. Oh, damn it. Wait, I'm not trying to capture the Pokemon, but <laughs> you guys know what I mean. And this guy is still asleep. And here we go again with another revenge attack. There we go. And no more Ursaring. I'm feeling good about myself right there. It's yawning. <laughs> Look at that. And we defeated Baker Chris. Always nice. So, let's see. After defeating Chris, let's see. You are great. I want to hire you. What do you think? Will you work here as a waiter? Sure. That's great. I'm so glad. I mean, that's, uh, that, that said, do you already know what well, you'll be doing? Sure. Okay. Great job. And I'm going to be walking away. What the hell? Oh, you're leaving the park? Are you going to quit your waiter job? Yes. Okay, not for today. Okay, so I, I don't want to do anything right now. I'm pretty sure there's going to be some some nice items, doodads, and all that stuff. So, let's see. If you talk to this guy right here, my favorite thing to do nowadays is walking under the bridge, which is cool. Very, very cool. And don't want to battle her. But, yes, you can walk under this bridge right here and get to the other section of this uh, this town. And, well, there will be somebody right here waiting for you. Now, let's see. Derleth. Fweet, 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 fweet. Hmm. Do not know who this guy is. Uh, I could... Okay, so there's nothing... Uh, nothing... Well, yeah, the, let's see. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I am looking at this guy right here. And Derleth is nothing. Okay, so there's nothing involving this guy. So, let's go on ahead and not mess around with this guy. Let's go ahead and, uh, you know, battle the Pokemon right here because good old Draven stepped on this and look at that. We find ourselves two Pokemon right here. Both at level over level 50, which is pretty cool. Oh god, I hate you guys. I hate you. I'm gonna defeat you by running away. That's right. Okay. So let's move on right here. There, there are items across the sea right here, which we will get. Um, let's see. Uh, we do not, we did not use a repel. I just realized that. So let's go straight up right here and find that repel. Could have just switched it, and there we go. Found a repel. Let's get this. All right. So let's move on. So there's an item right there, which you will actually find. You know, grass and all that stuff. And, well, there's nothing across the across the way right there. So, we're going to be going down. And, there's another, there is another item right there that, that is waiting for us. So, let's go under the bridge right here. And, you got to take, you got to give Nintendo credit because the, like, the, the graphics right here is pretty awesome. And, look at that, we found ourselves an Ultra Ball. Always nice just to use the Ultra Ball. And let's see, there is one more thing that we could do right here. I think. I don't know. There, there isn't a there is a trainer close by right here. Talk to this guy, Coots. Singing gives uh, life to my spirit. Will you listen to my voice of my spirit? Yes. I think. And I don't know what this is. And look at that. We found ourselves some leftovers, which, you know, will heal up our Pokemon every single time. Now the Village Bridge Restaurant. Now, what I'm reading right here is this. Uh, a part-time job at the Village Bridge Restaurant. Village Bridge Restaurant is a house in a ca camper below the east side of the bridge. If you defeat Baker Chris, you can work part. You can work here part-time. 
talk to Chris and listen to the customer's orders, tell Chris the orders, and give the customers the correct sandwiches, and you get a Lumberry for a reward. And knowing good old Draven right here, yeah, he's not going to remember all these orders. Uh-uh. That's why I am a... That's why I... I am an, uh, I am a personal trainer in real life because I give the orders, not them. <laughs> so let's move on right here, and let's actually cross this bridge now. Well, we're crossing the bridge right now, and if you go right here, you will actually be able to heal your Pokemon. So let's go ahead and talk to this girl. Let's see. Oh, your Pokemon look pretty tired. Let's go ahead and rest up our Pokemon. <coughs> Bless me. Man, I am sneezing today. Now, I'm going to take a look at what's inside these houses right here. I don't really think there's a lot that you can actually find. Uh, actually, Pat Rat Girl right here. I will look for a new start. Pat Rat and I can do it together. Thank you, Village Bridge, for making us who we are and farewell. And there she goes. I... Oh, wow. The Pat Rats are leaving with her. Okay, so that's cool. That's good. And for what it says right here on the book right here, a woman with four-part rat live in the second house from the east. Talk to the woman and she will explain she is aiming for a new a new heights and she will depart uh, with her pet rat. Now, you can see her pet rat and Marvelage, or the pet rat show at the Marvelage Bridge, which, yeah, we've already passed that. Yeah, she is the lady with the, 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 the story, so, okay, so let's go right here. And here you're going to find the fisherman. He is, I am the member of the Hip Waters. As its uh, name suggests, it's a fishing club. Why don't you uh, join up and enjoy some fishing? Sure. Awesome. Now, you are the second member of the Hipwaters. Here you go. I'll announce the official Hipwaters catch of the day. The Pokemon we're fishing for today is Seedra. If you catch one, please show it to me. And, well, I don't think he's going to give us anything right now since we're not really going to capture Seedra. We already got the... the the super rod from Looker, which, you know, that could actually help out. Don't need a repel. And let's see, I will cross all the bridges in Unova. I think I've already crossed all the bridges, and look at this one. This is a beauty. Again, give Nintendo credit for all the graphic details right here for Pokemon Black, and look at that. Russo, la 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 la. Nothing. Okay. So, let's go right ahead and. Check to this guy. Soda pop tastes even better when I drink it in, on the bridge, so I often share with Crocorock. Okay. And, it, okay, so I'm chasing this girl. The uneven hills of Route 12 are great for a Pokethlon, uh, Pokethlon training. The Pokethlon is a very popular competition in Johto, where I, I come from. Yeah, look at that. I'm from, well, not really. I'm the Johto League champ. And let's see, we got a few more houses to go. Well, just two more. And let's go right here and see what these people have to say. This is a very old bridge, but thanks to the elderly man next door who takes care of it, the bridge always looks its best, which is good. Okay. I'm totally hooked on the vigil village sandwiches. We moved closer to shop uh, to the shop so I could eat there every day. <laughs> you're putting that. You're putting. You're, you're putting the Baker Chris kids through college. <laughs> Village Bridge is the oldest bridge in the Uno in Unova. It says so right here on my book. I heard it was built 200 years ago. Huh. Cool. Very, very cool. And, well, let us move on to the last of the houses right here. And this guy right here is like, ha, 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 isn't this a beautiful bridge? This old bridge was built when my great-great-great-grandfather was around. I don't wonder. Isn't this a unique sort of a bridge? A long time ago, the river overflowed, and all of the houses were washed away. So people built new houses on top of the bridge to keep them safe from the flooding. It's a simple solution, but it's genius. It is true. And let's see. My grandpa is the stump cutter for the uh, village bridge. All right. Now, let's see. The stump cutter. Let's see. Let's see. Fisherman. Okay, stump cutter. Yeah, okay. So we've already talked to everybody right here. There really isn't nothing, like there, there, there's nothing up here except for this guy, and I think he will battle us or something, but if you talk to this guy, during the day I sunbathe, during the night I moonbathe, nature sinks into my body, true, and talk to this guy, how about this, this sound, doesn't it uh, get to your heart, your mind? I can't hear anything, so <laughs> yeah, we're going to be moving on right here guys, so 
it is finally time to take on or to go to the final route of this whole adventure right here and that is route 11 now you do have the choice to either go to route 11 or go into the marvelous B bridge i of course chose marvelous bridge because it's marvelous pokemon love village sandwiches too and uh, yeah something about berries so let's go straight to route 11 now right here you're gonna be finding a few items and a buttload of trainers and believe it or not yes i'm gonna be battling every single one of them probably because you guys are like you know off screen you're like freaking draven so lazy come on battle how else are you gonna get better for the pokemon league well i'll tell you how gonna destroy everybody so here we go backpacker Corin, and she's coming with her snowver right here and of course sigh of the torrent and wow you gotta love that snow warning because yeah snow warning can kiss my you know what so here we go revenge and uh, wow faster pokemon than us you know it looks bigger and there we go with the blizzard and wow <laughs> oh wait we broke through. How did we break through? How, how in the hell did... Okay, so that must have not been a, a very, very strong uh, blizzard attack right there. And look at that. Snover takes a KO. Yes, sir. Look at that. Look at that. And look at that. Oh, yes. Okay, so let's see. Uh, there are five trainers. Four trainers here. We're going to defeat them all. And... This area right here, you'll be able to find some pretty cool items. Protector, uh, overheat, and, or TM50 overheat, and everything else in between. Uh, let's see, let me what it says. Uh, hyper Potion, of course. Now, if you talk to this lady, let's see. Yahoo! There's an awful lot of nothing around here, isn't there? Yeah, there really isn't. Um, okay, so, let's see. What does it say right here? It doesn't say really any. Oh, wow, it's raining. Oh, crud. I guess I know who this is. If it's raining, it must be somebody that we know. And... Nope, that is a Gligar. If you guys don't remember... Hold on just a sec. I, I'm trying to figure out if we did use a Master Ball or not. Okay, so let's see. Uh, it's raining. If it's raining, it must be, it must mean, where is he? Where is he? There he is! So there it is, guys. If it's raining, you got yourself Thunderous right here. And I kind of have a feeling that I used the Master Ball already. If I did, then that kind of sucks. Uh, if I didn't, then okay. Okay, so here is Thunderous one of the roaming Pokemon and well let's go ahead and see if we actually have a Master Ball let's see um, nope we don't have a Master Ball guys <laughs> screw me huh screw me so here we go let's go with a quick ball and who did we capture with the Master Ball and there goes the Tornadus I should say and Tornadus has fled so if you guys are ever wondering how to find Tornadus or Thunderous, it, it's it's usually that. Who the hell did we capture with the Master Ball? Who in the hell did we capture with the Master Ball? It couldn't have been Kyurem. Or not Kyurem, but uh, what's his face? Ah, uh, Jeebus. I completely forgot his name. So, yeah. Off screen. What was it? Off screen, we will be capturing Tornadus, and we're going to be putting it, putting it in, a, in a separate series of legendary Pokemon for Pokemon Black. But right now, yeah, we're, we're kind of SOL. I'm trying to figure out, who did we capture with the Master Ball? Hold on, I'm trying to... Let's see, there, there's, it must have been a legendary Pokemon here. Let's see. I'm trying to figure that out. And... Let's see, I'm... Let's see. Okay. Um. Oh crud! I think I. Okay, it was Volcarona. We cut Volcarona with the god dang Master Ball. Eh, well, it is what it is. So let's move on right here. And uh, let's see. We can actually surf down right there and use a Super Repel. And let's go right ahead and 
figure this whole thing out. God dang it. Yeah, oh yeah, okay, so now I'm remembering, okay, it was a few days ago since I recorded that episode, guys. The only reason why I captured uh, Volcarona with the Master Ball was because it was at a higher level than my Pokemon. I believe my Pokemon were like at level 50 at the time, and they got demolished. Like, single-handedly got demolished by Volcarona. If I didn't do anything, then yeah, whatever. So, there was my excuse, guys. I had no choice but to capture it with the Master Ball. Sue me if you guys uh, think that's pretty stupid. It's whatever. So, here we go. Going up against another Pokemon trainer, the powerful Thundering Watery Falls. Experience the great power of uh, battle with me. Okay, I just read that all incorrectly, so it's whatever. Me don't know how to read it. So here we go. Ranger Crofton wants the battle, coming with his uh, Dugong. And let's go right ahead and use our good old buddy, Sai of the Torrent, right here. And let's go with a Revenge. I think Dugon's still an Ice type Pokemon, right? Probably. I don't know. Yeah, remembering on how to capture the freaking, or how to use a Master Ball. So, in Pokemon Black and White, guys, as far as I'm concerned, uh, yeah, best, my best suggestion for you is, if you're gonna be, if you're gonna go, go ahead and use a Master Ball on somebody, it's going to have to be on the roaming Pokemon because you don't want to waste a lot of time just trying to locate it. I mean, that right there was luck for me. It was luck that I actually found it. And look at that, Dugong defeated. Yeah. Yep, I would say capture capture it with the Master Ball and level up your Pokemon against Volcarona because, yeah, me, you know, it, it, yeah, it is what it is. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Another, well, we're going up against Pins right here using its Mold Breaker. And, well, Mold Break this. Use the Flare Blitz. For the win. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. Pincer's got no shot. No chance in hell right here. And, of course, our shot gets a recoil, but it's okay. Look at that, level 64. There we go, Hotshot. And, well, he's going to be coming out with a Pelipper, so let's go ahead and switch. And, you know what? Let's go... D -d 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 -d. Screw it. Let's go with Ace. You guys are probably going to be amazed, but Ace, level 74, was training it right before we got to the bridge and all that stuff. And this is all just to be ready for the Pokemon League. Trust me, guys. Pokemon League... Very, very strong. Very, very scary. You don't want to mess with them at th this point. They gotten better. They really did. And look at that. Belliper defeated. Here we go, Ace. And yes, taking a little bit of a recoil. Sigh of the Torrent grows to level 68. And yeah, buddy. We get ourselves another victory right there. Now, we're going to get a gift, too. And we get ourselves a Lepa Berry, which is always nice. You know, free Lepa Berry. Better than working for a Lepa Berry. And... Here we find another item, and this one is a protector, which actually, if you give it to a Rhydon and trade it, bam, you get yourself a, what was it, a Rhyperior. Yeah, a Rhyperior, it's a pretty good Pokemon, or a pretty awesome Pokemon. Okay, let's move on right here. Let's use that waterfall, get up there, and bam, look at that. Look at that, okay, and let's see. Before we battle that trainer, let's go ahead and grab the item that's up top right here. There are two sections of this area. You can actually go straight to the grass and capture some more Pokemon, or you can go and get yourself the item now. Some Pokemon that you can actually find right here, Amoongus, Liger, Golduck, Carablast, Ponyard, Rooflet, Saviper, uh, Vullaby, and Zangoose. Pretty good Pokemon. And look at that, we get ourselves a TM50 overheat. Another good move. Very, very good move. With the with the kind of messed up uh, drawback, which, you know, it is what it is. You know, it's gotta, you, in order to win some, you gotta take some. And let's go back down and, well, Pokemon Trainer ready to battle. Alrighty, let's go. My Pokemon and I spent so much time together. We don't need words. To understand one another, do you th uh, or do you think you can win against us? <clears throat> yes, I, I can. Uh, I mean, I'm a 
multi a multi time champion, regional champion. I mean, of course I gotta win. Can I? Probably. I don't even know. Alright, so here she comes out with a rapid ash, and uh, your boy right here coming out with uh, Sigh of the Torrent. Very good choice. We're probably gonna go in second, but don't matter. it don't matter. Never mind. And here we go, waterfall. And look at that, that waterfall doing its business right there. Say goodbye to Rap Ash. Look at that, look at that. What a shame. And here she here she's coming out with a cacturn. So let's go back to Hotshot. Alrighty, okay, alright. Hotshot. You. And here's that cacturn. Dark and whatchamacallit grass type. So let's go with the flare blitz. Let's do this. Finish this guy off. Oh, yes. And Cacturn is no more. Look at that. Look at that. That's pretty awesome right there. And, of course, there's a recoil with that, so it's whatever. And here she comes out with a Mantine. So let's go ahead and switch it out to Ace right here. Actually, our strongest Pokemon. Why Ace first? Easiest Pokemon to actually train, believe it or not, guys. Very first Pokemon that I actually caught in this adventure, and <laughs> yeah, very very reliable Pokemon too. It's, it, it says it right there on its description. It is a very loyal Pokemon, very loyal Pokemon. So here we go, the Wild Charge, quadruple damage since Mantine is both water and flying. And look at that. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Experience points galore right there. And since we beat her, we're gonna get some items, or a berry right here. Look at that, we get ourselves another lap of berry. Very nice. And, well, time to move on. We have one more trainer right here that we actually have to take on. And he's a backpacker. So let's go ahead and take this guy on. Last guy right here, let's make a count. Permits moi de... Oh, oh yeah, this guy's French. Permits moi de, de te provoquer. In dual, if he, I'm not even gonna do it. I'm, I'm not even gonna butcher you guys as French. I'm not going to do it, guys. So let's go right ahead and take this guy on. Challenged by Backpacker, Backpacker Talon. It's a pretty good name, Talon. <laughs> wait until it get, uh, wait until it captures Talon Flame. All right, so let's go. Side of the torrent right here. Going up against a good old buddy Crow Gunk and. Let's go with a little bit of a dragon tail, but it's faster than us. I'm going with the sludge bomb. Uh, damn. Here we go. Dragon tail. Come on, finish him off. Nearly does it. So let's go right ahead and use a waterfall just to get this guy. And this guy has a dry skin. Oh god. So we, yeah, we kind of, uh, yeah, we kind of helped it a little. Dry skin, of course. We'll actually heal up uh, any Pokemon who has it. And, well, I got another move right here. Cut attack. That's right, I got cut. Eventually won't have it, but look at that. Krogon, victorious. Oh, yes. Look at that. Look at that. Talon kicks some ass and defeats our French buddy right here. And, well, let's go right ahead and grab this last item right here. And that is a Hyper Potion. Yes, sir. Okay. So, that is it right there, guys. That is it for Route 11 and... Oh, my God. Was that an adventure? It was a freaking adventure. So, here we are. Where are we? Oh, yeah. Opalescent City. Where it all began, or where it all ended with our Pokemon Gems. So, what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to fly straight to the Pokemon League. Just to, you know, give it a little... Actually, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to go... Actually, I'm going to stop right here because uh, we've got a lot of stuff to do off-screen. So, this is it, guys. In the next episode, it will be our final episode. Yes, we're going to end it all. I haven't forgotten about our, our little mystery, uh, our little mystery uh, uh, opponent before the Pokemon League. 
but on screen I will be training up my Pokemon, teaching them new moves and everything. We're gonna go in. Uh, we're, we're gonna go straight to the Pokemon League with the same the same team that we assembled right here for Unova. There's not gonna be no Reshiram or anything like that. No, first team that's going into the Hall of Fame is the first team that I built right here in Unova. So stay tuned, guys, for the final exciting episode of our Pokemon Black ep uh, episode, and uh, hopefully, yeah, hopefully it won't be a bad one. So. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.